Hey and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, if you've seen my latest two videos, I did a um, LOL chair, and now I'm about to do a troll chair. I got this, and even in that video, I know I just got a few comments asking where I got the chair from. Even though I said it in the video, I got this chair from Ollie's for four ninety nine. Let me make sure I took the receipt. Yeah, I took it off. I got this from Ollie's for four ninety nine. O L L I E S. It, just, it in case I'm not saying it the way it's supposed to be said. I also got this huge troll, which is a very nice size, y'all. This thing is tall. It may look small on the tape, but however it is, it was four ninety nine, and that's how it is. Alice, okay. So I'm gonna pull my little stick off. I kind of don't like they stickers. They stickers being pieces. Like this one came right off, but it's normally in pieces. I'm sorry. Trying to get my camera to focus the right way. So when I do try to show y'all something it works. What is up? Track council. Okay, y'all. I'm just fixing my camera real quick. Okay, done. There we go. So, um, Ollie's is where I got that from. $4.99. That's where I got the troll from. Everything else came from basically Dollar Tree. This troll book, Dollar Tree. I have a Trolls at Stick Activity set from Dollar Tree. And what I will do to take this space up, I got a little bit smarter than my last video, y'all. I filled the bucket up with one of kind of everything that I have. Itself, I don't see my goldfish. I got to see where I put my goldfish. I'm going to go ahead and start filling up the back. That way it can just take up some of that space, y'all. Go ahead and get it started. Because I don't want to cover up too much of my troll stuff with these items. I'm using just some regular tape that I got from Dollar Tree. I also have the... um packaging tape which i love the packaging tape it's gonna hold that stuff like no other um but boom those are three of the items they're gonna be covered up but it's gonna take up that space behind these items right here they're just talking i really can just put it back down i do that for that one well, I put this on this side since it has a coloring book. I'm going to tape it to the back of the book. I just put that back right there. But that's all I be doing, y'all. Trying to work around, figure out where I'm going to put this, where I'm going to put that. And it's all up from there. That's how that's going to go. And to make sure she not going to keep moving. So there's you go shit my dog. Yes, it's too noisy back there. Okay. I want that to kind of sit out. Even though it's probably going to conflict with my bag. Let me put it in a little bit. But I want them to be able to see that troll and the markers. Okay. Next thing I'm going to put in here. I got this from Dollar Tree. This is some dominoes. I think these are paper dominoes. Came from Dollar Tree. I have some peeps that I'm going to kind of put towards the front once I get all my stuff in here. I have some cotton candy. Some Kool-Aid jammers. I have some Zaps chips. Some Ruffle chips. I put that on the side. They can see that from the sideline. What they won't be able to see too much is that um capri sun back there but that's totally fine i'm gonna put some shreds right here 
This is a big bag. I know that um, Dollar Tree has theirs, but this is a big bag that I got from Hamper House. The Hamper House is here in Georgia off of Forest Park Parkway. I got this big bag of shreds for $6. It's a nice size, y'all. So, um, get a little bit more and then I'm just pull it out. And one little batch, that's really too much. One little peach is all I needed for this, um, front of this basket, y'all. And y'all gotta excuse my, uh, dad in the, in the background. Like I said, he do not care nothing about no YouTube. He gonna say what he wanna say with no problem, okay? There we go. He laughing at Leah anyway. Okay, so I put a little shreds up there, purple to match my purple set. I can't forget that I want this to go in this basket. Um, I don't want it to cover up too much of my troll stuff. So what I'll do, I'll just take that out. Put my chips, still gonna put my chips right there. Because they'll be able to see my chips from the side of the basket. And this little trolls. I put the trolls bear here. Which is a very nice size. Then I can go back in and add my cotton candy back. I probably don't even need to add this because it's already so much going on. Especially with that troll right there covering up the background stuff but they can still see the markers that's good i got the zap chips here i have another cup i got this one party city for those that commented and did not hear when i said it in the last video this is from party city or maybe they just didn't sit through the whole video that video was kind of long but like i said when you watch my video and it's entirely you don't miss anything you don't have to wait on me to respond to a comment and tell you where i got something from because i've already said it in the video so, but I know they can be lengthy. People don't have that much time, but that's basically where you're going to get all your information from, okay? I got this from Dollar Tree. They also had troll cups at um, Walmart. It looks like some of this troll stuff, like I was going to use this, I was going to use this. I can take this for the next one, I guess, because this is already quite full. I wanted to use some um, peeps, and I kind of still can put the peeps in her lap. Nope, too little. Um, I could probably still use some fruit snacks. Because I don't really want to cover her up. Too much. I can just put them here. And I could also take this here, but then it'll cover her face up. Yeah, but this is about all I'm going to put in this basket, y'all. I'm going to put a little egg in her lap. Or egg to the side. She's taking up a lot of room in this basket. I know that. I try not to cover up the troll face over here. But as you can see, I have Rice Krispie Treats. I still want to add my Rice Krispie Treats somewhere, some kind of way. Even if I just sit it behind her. Because, um... I do want them kids to have these snacks once they open once they open up this this basket. So even if I can't see it, I still want to put it in there. But I guess that's gonna be about it, y'all. I can pour some more candy at the bottom. I got a handful of candy, and I just throw it in the basket. It'll be all right because once I uh, shrink wrap it. Open the door for Stephanie, Leo. I have a purple lip gloss came out of the container that I got from Walmart. I'm going to put that there and I'm also going to glue that, tape that. Because I like for it to stay forward where you can see the lip gloss. There we go. It's like she's too wrong, Stephanie. Alright, so I feel like that's kind of all I want in this basket. Now let's do some calculations. Where's my pad? I have one, two, three, four. That's four. I'm gonna even though this was a dollar and this was a dollar, I'm still gonna count it as a dollar tree item because that quarter can go towards 
sales tax or anything like that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Dollar Tree items, okay? And then we have that doll, which is $5. I have candies. This is like, um, basically 30 cents. The Capri Sun was 19 cents. The Zaps was 30, 29 cents. Um, these were 16 cents. Um, so basically I'm gonna count how many little things I have and I'm just gonna max them out to 35 cent even though they was between 16, 19, 25, whatever. I got the bag of chips, they was about 42 cent. So we have the three items I put in the bag. Four, five, six, bless you live. Bless you again. So I was at six, seven, eight, just say nine. Ten, just just nine just say ten items three dollars and fifty cents that's what we're gonna put it at and that's honestly not even three dollars and fifty cents so what we'll do is um i had seven dollar three items i round that out to eight items that's ten dollars with tax a bag will include our bag whatever else it was so we had ten dollars with that five dollars for the doll and five dollars for the chair that's twenty dollars all right so in all, we're looking at about $23 for this basket. Honestly, $21 for this basket. I rounded off at least $3 to $4 additional. Um, so if we're at, just say, $25 for the basket, which really $20, I still, any chairs that I'm selling, I'm selling them for $65 and $75. This one, I couldn't put as much in it. I still have a pack of cookies that I could have put in it. I still stick them behind her head. What, what baby? <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Y'all don't hear Lil over here asking for this candy. What is it, Lil? Take my stuff down, y'all, and that's it. I'm going to be good to go. It's going to be a... I can do this one for 65 But then again, like my daughter said, these troll dogs are definitely over $25. So being it, that's what's bringing the value to my um, chair. And if you can see on this side of the chair... Whoa, you don't see no gaps, no spaces. And also on this side of the chair. What was that feel? My kind candy feel. You don't see any gaps, any spaces as well. That's why when I did put the chips in here, I turned them that way. Um, the teddy grams. It's kind of just... I kind of see a little space up in here, but not really, okay, because I still have the candy. I could have put some fudge scrapes in there as well, and I'm going to do that just because. Now, this thing is packed. I just want to make sure that even though it looks full, it's full enough for that parent once it's time for her baby. You put the bowl. Um. Wait a minute, Leah. It Once it's time for her baby to open this up, and she kind of sees what was actually in this basket, I don't want her to be like, oh, I paid this price for that, and ain't nothing really in that thing. I feel like it's full enough for her to be excited and happy about no, what she spent her money on. I want to be your Leah, what do you want? Wait, okay. I want something here. And then that's it, y'all. This is going to be it for this basket. I'm going to sell this basket for $70, not $75. And I say $70 because um, it's just not as full as I want it to be. Yeah, be quiet right quick. No, you're not getting my doll. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this video on that note. I'm not going to put nothing else in here. I'll see y'all on the next video. I just said I wasn't going to put nothing else in here, but I want to put that in there. Or I can just sit it here. But nope, that's going to cover my, my girl up. Okay, what y'all think about that? Okay, wait a minute. That's it, y'all. I'm going to take this down. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm rolling them out back to back. I'm doing a video per each basket that I'm doing so y'all can get a little idea of 
what I'm putting in it. One basket, one basket might have something you can take. One basket might not. Okay, wait a minute, Leah. I will go ahead since I have a little space. I can see a little corner in there. I want to put something right there. So I'll just go ahead and put that egg right there. I have a smaller egg that I can put or even some bubbles. If they was the same color, I would have put the bubbles. Wow, I don't have no little small bubble. I have to open up another pack. There we go. That was a smaller egg. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take that down, but I'll see y'all in the next video. I did want to come back and show y'all the basket with a closer up view I did put some tape you probably can't see it you can see it but you can't see it this is some tape I just put around the front because you know I kept getting that cotton candy to fall I also taped this down um, and that was about it that I did that you didn't see other than that this is the, this is that basket y'all that I'm gonna put and sell for seventy dollars and I really would have wanted more but I only was able to put three four um, four other trolley items besides that um, troll. 75 would be pushing it because the baby is it's got a lot of little snacks and stuff in there, but I just feel like 70 would be nice for this basket, even 65. But the main reason I'm charging that much is because, like I said, that troll doll, if they were to buy it themselves in Walmart, is about $25. So just because I paid $5 doesn't mean that I have to pass on my sales, clearance, fines, and stuff like that on to the client. But I can make it at least seventy dollars. They still got coloring books, crayons. Um, they got color markers, stickers, different chips, candy, juice, all that stuff in that basket. Kind of candy that they like. So that's that basket all finished. And from a forward view, um, side view, no gaps. Chips really help bring this to cut the space out. And that's the other side view. You can see stuff all around throughout this basket. So if a parent looks at it, they'll look at it as if it's full. It's even stuff behind her and in back of those books that they don't even see that they're getting in this basket. All together, my cost was $21. Um, once I sat down and did my calculations, it was only $21 and that was what me estimating. So yeah, I'm definitely going to sell it for $70. That is actually a $50 profit, $49 really. Um, so let me know what y'all think about this video. I hope y'all don't think that I'm getting over on the parents charging a little bit too much. But this is how you're going to have to price them baskets if you want to see a good profit at the end. At the end of the day, once that kid opens up this stuff, she'll be chewing on candy and snacks for, if she not too fast, for a couple days, okay? Um, if her parent ration it out like we do our kids. But if she don't, there's still a lot of candy. That kid will be satisfied. There's a lot of stuff in the basket. And you, we can expect a return parent off of a cute, nice toy like this because the kid is going to like it. She's definitely going to be walking around with that troll. Other than that, y'all, um... I have a lot more videos I'm about to make. The next thing I haven't made was a LOL box bag. I still saw people in the video asking what about um, the boxes and stuff like that. I just posted that video um, of the troll bag. I actually showed a box in that bag. If y'all need me to do any of these things from scratch showing y'all before I put the stuff in the bag, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do it for you. But this is a USPS box. You can go online at USPS.com and find these boxes. You can also find any empty boxes when you're inside the stores. Sometimes they have empty boxes just laying around inside the store. Uh, hold on, man. I want you to get me something while you go. And also, just anywhere that you can find some empty boxes inside of a store, you can kind of use. I just, easiest method for me is to go to USPS.com, get those ordered and ship for free. You don't have to have a business license. You just have to sign up for an account. And those are the 12 um, by 11 by 5 and a half boxes, I think. They're the large or medium us poster bag but i did show them in my last video of the troll bag i showed the exact box itself um if y'all have any more questions just leave them down in the comment section below i hope you've already liked this video and have already subscribed to this channel and i'll see y'all on the next video success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't wanna let myself down my